I'm a better cook than I am a trimmer, so this is why I get this job. Morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. Shut up and farm here. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down under the name of Santa's Little Helpers. Come on guys, only two days to Christmas. I need you elves in tip-top shape. You guys are my two strongest elves, whose presents won't list themselves. Good evening, and welcome to Tech TV's 12 Hooves of Christmas. Santa is really putting us through our paces today to get us in shape for Christmas. Enjoy the video. I think we only have two sets left. The first thing I noticed when I lifted this foot was a very enlarged area at the heel. When I washed it off, the area at the top filled with water like a fountain, which made me think there must be a large cavity underneath this enlarged heel. Tom was phoning me, but I couldn't talk. I had a lame cow to make comfortable. As well as the area at the heel, the sole also seems to have problems that will need to be fixed. I started this trim off by lowering the lateral claw, and yes, you guessed it, the medial will certainly need a block to start this cow's journey to recovery. My choice of block for this girl is a non-wearing TP block. I put this on because the environment she lives in has the potential to wear off a wooden block too soon before the lesion has had a chance to make any progress before I see this cow again. Here I am gently squeezing the cavity to make sure it is clean. That is actual swollen skin at the heel so I obviously can't start cutting into that with the knife. I've just removed the sharp horn below it, where it had the potential to poke into the tender heel. With my all four feet computer software, I enter the cow's number, her lesion type, and recommend that she need some antibiotics for that infection in the heel. This will speed up her recovery, and the farmer will get an email of all this advice, which is really handy, and saves on all the paperwork. I'm sending her off with a powder salicylic bandage to try and help exfoliate the excess skin and make way for the new healthy skin. Well here's hoping she's a little bit better the next time we meet. Just in case you're wondering, this cow does not have two identities. I'm calling her 6142 as we always work by the ear tag number. However as you can see here, she does have a freeze brand number of 975. Well folks, I'm just back at this farm and I'm rechecking cow 6142. She had a really bad lesion up at her heel and it was quite swollen. So let's get her in and let's get a look at her. First things first in the recheck. Let's get this hoof washed down. However, I don't need to wash it down to realise the block has come off and slightly too soon. 
This is really annoying, especially when she's depending on that block for her recovery. Sixty-one forty-two has made some progress, I'm glad to see. That area at the heel has really reduced in size, with just a small patch of digi and some bruising below that. I'll have to apply another block that hopefully remains on for a little longer. As I was just saying there, there is nothing I hate more than block failure. When we put on a block, we put it on for a reason. But no matter what glue we use, blocks can't come off. It's a bit of a trimmer's nightmare. The glue I'm using at the moment keeps 99% of blocks on. And if you're interested in trying it, my email address is in the bio. This cow is good to go. I'm happy we are going in the right direction. Really happy with how cow 6142 is doing. It's really annoying though whenever you put on a block and it's not there two or three weeks later. I think that was three weeks ago from we seen this cow. So uh, really happy with the progress she has made even though the block did come off. Still a small little bit of that hole there up at the heel and a little bit of digi in it but we're about 90% of the way there to getting this cow back to making a full recovery. It just so happened the way things worked out I was back at this farm one week later. I wanted to check cow 6142 to check that she still had the block on rather than losing any more time. Progress had been made, the bruising had reduced and the digi was gone.
Well, the block stayed on, so that's always a good help. This new black glue that I'm using is really, really, really good, and the block retention is fantastic with it. There's nothing as hateful as putting on a block and coming back to recheck a cow and the block has fell off. This glue is working really well. was the fourth recheck of this cow. That block is still on and what a difference that has made. The digi however had made a slight unwelcome return but we must deal with what's in front of us as best we can and for that I give her her final bandage of 2021. Cow 6142 did require a lot of TLC over the last few months but all that effort is worthwhile when we see her walking today so comfortably. So Cow 6142 has come a long way in her recovery. She's not 100% there yet, but it's not a perfect world we live in and sometimes things need more work than we thought they did. Uh, we'll, we will recheck her in the new year uh, to see how she's doing, but I would imagine if that block stays on for another few weeks um, and the bandage just took off in a few days, the digi will be gone and that small, what's left of that hole, that small little black hole, will have closed over completely. This hoof care girl, I thought it was hard work, but it's nothing compared to this elephant. It's hard work. That Santy boy would keep you at it. Oh. We have just finished our last gym session before Christmas. Maybe we need to spend a bit more time in the gym in 2022. Thanks for watching today's episode, and we will see you all tomorrow for the Christmas Eve trim, where we trim a cow with a sore front right foot. See you all then.